By giving meaning to time, we give meaning to life. The land of dawn was born from the void, and to the void it shall return. Over the past few centuries, the seal that holds back the Lord of the Abyss had been waning in power, while the cracks in the Abyss grew constantly. The Lantis Mountains could no longer withstand the crippling corruption of the Abyss, and humanity was forced further and further north in order to survive. With this, the Lord of the Abyss fully awakened and his demon forces reached the walls of Monian cities. Humanity began to understand that their apocalypse was nigh. But then, a ray of pure light appeared, and provided Monian its protection. The people cast their gazes skyward, seeking out of the source of this divine light. It was then that they realized, this was a sign that the Lord of Light has awakened. The powers of light and darkness sprang into action, and the endless war descended upon the lands once more. Tragedy and warfare abounded, wreaking destruction upon all life, never to be reborn. In such an era it seemed that nobody could halt the spread of war. A thousand years passed, then three hundred more, yet still the conflict waged with a growing intensity, showing no signs of stopping. It was into such an era that Nathan was born. As he grew up in Eridicio, Nathan proved himself naturally gifted. Whether in science or magic, he achieved attainments unimaginable by any normal man. As the years passed, the turmoil of war had rent a terrible scar upon the hearts of the people, never to be healed. This despair was a heavy burden borne by all, even the young children. And none more so than the Eriditions, who as humanity's last hope now formed the peak of human wisdom, as built over millennia. Hence Nathan walked the same path as the other scholars, from a young age taking on the task of saving this world. Several years later, the youthful Nathan had already became the driving force of Eridicio, taking an active part in various important research projects. By the time he was 28, he had already been appointed as the official leader of Eridicio for his outstanding achievements. Together with its citizens, he endeavored to seek out a way to save the world. The Abyss had by this point acquired even more Twilight Orbs. If every last one fell into the hands of the Lord of the Abyss, it would spell the return of pure chaos to the world, as all light faded into darkness. Nathan and the others were running out of time. They took command of all those in both Eridicio and Magic Academy, striving with all their might to find a way to turn things around and avoid a certain descent into chaos. A wealth of weapons, each one powerful beyond belief, was researched and created before being sent into war. Nevertheless, humanity remained vulnerable under the threat of the demons and their twilight orbs. The plan to halt the Lord of the Abyss advance was already less a plan of action than a wish, something that cast humanity even further into despair. It was at that somber moment that Nathan stepped forth once more, and presented a new idea, the creation of a time machine. Eridition put all other research aside and committed all of its manpower and resources into the search for a way to make time travel a reality. No more was Eridicio merely the city of scholars. Now, it was the final light still shining as humanity faced its apocalypse. As the Abyss gained control of the final shard of the Twilight Orb, it seemed that fate had been decided. Dark blasts of fearful energy bust forth, circling the skies above as the Land of Dawn let out a pained cry. It felt like it would be split apart entirely before long. Beyond the lab, 
darkness encroached upon the land as it descended from the skies. The defensive network had been devastated by the blast of energy, and now an unstoppable tide of demons flooded into the city en masse. Buildings toppled and the streets went up in flames. Nathan took in the bleak scene before him, and started up the machine with resolution in his eyes. There had been no time to test it, but their theory suggested it could support a single person and transport them through time and space. The end of the world loomed before him, and at his back shone the hope of all others. Nathan shouldered the expectations of humanity and stepped into the past. The future had to change. Even if it meant a lifetime spent searching the sprawling expanses of time and space, Nathan would never give up hope. For such hope didn't belong to him alone. It was the hope of everyone in the Monian. Just as long as he kept going, and never gave up, there was still a chance for the land of Dawn's survival.